I could have not picked a worse day to film. It is so dark outside, it is raining, and it is very gloomy, and I can see myself in the viewfinder looking extremely yellow, I don't know why. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of work on the editing whenever I'm sitting down to fix this extremely yellow shade that's appearing on camera. I hope it gets better. But anyway, hi, welcome to my channel, my name is Rita. And today we're going to be doing a second part of my unboxing from my Sephora haul. So I picked up only three additional things, including a beautiful eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette that we're gonna be putting to the test today. And that is of course the stunning Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette. This was originally released last year, but um, it got out of, it like, sold out very very quick and apparently was just going to be a limited edition but this year he came back with apparently a reformulated eyeshadow palette i don't have of course a way of comparing it so we're gonna be trying this i guess second release palette together for the very first time and it is of course the shadow that i have on my eyes and i have a few lip products that i want to also talk about that i got from the sale before we get right into this look, please be sure to subscribe. It is super easy. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below and be sure to hit the little bell so you get notified every time that I post. I haven't even opened the box because I wanted to do a real unboxing, if that makes any sense. So we're gonna be opening the box together. I'm trying to get it open and I just picked up three more items. I think I did mention this during my last Sephora BIB haul, I guess. <laughs> so I picked up three things and this was like my more makeup-y. My other box was basically just restocks of my skincare. So the most exciting thing is going to be, of course, my new eyeshadow palette. I don't know why I got this, you guys. I think I've mentioned this 5,000 times in every single video that I am not being too into eyeshadow lately but for whatever reason this definitely definitely caught my eye and I ended up picking up and this is the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes of course we're gonna be using it today that's why I look pretty odd right now with no eyeshadow, no mascara and I also got a few lip products that's why I have my lips ready and here it is. I haven't even seen this in person, I'm not even gonna lie. Ooh, this is very pretty. Ooh, it looks like it's going to be one of those that are very easily breakable because this one does have a little bit of powder around, but the palette is very pretty. I do apologize because today is one of the gloomiest days ever. It's like still raining right now. So I wanted to still use natural light as best as I could. So it's probably gonna be a little weird light, but I hope it's not too bad. So let me show you a little bit closer of the palette. This is again natural light on a gloomy day, but you can, I think that you can see pretty much how the colors look in real life. It is very, very pretty. I have, if I do any kind of eyeshadow lately, I'll go for a very shiny um, one and done eyeshadow. So that's why I was inclined for this palette because it has these very pretty glittery almost shadows. And of course the neutrals that, you know, you can never say no, no to. So that's the first thing. And then I wanted to add a new lip liner to my collection from, of course, Charlotte Tilbury, my favorite brand. And I got the Iconic Nude. I hear a lot of people talking about this lip liner, so I hope I like it. It is probably nothing that I needed, but I wanted to pick it up. And with a discount, of course I had to. I do always use, literally almost every single day, one from NYX um, in the London shade, that's a matte one. So this might be one that I can use whenever I'm not using that one, but kind of like give me the same look of a nude lip. And then I ended up picking up one of these because I hear nothing but great things about this. Uh, what are these? Lip, lip butter balms. So this is a little more expensive, of course, to be a butter balm or a balm, but I thought, you know, why not? With a discount, let's go ahead and try it. And I got the shade, I don't even know. I think the shade is called, it's the purple one. I can't even tell. I actually wanted to pick, uh, it's called brown sugar. I'm gonna try it right now because my lips are pretty dry. I wanted to try 
the little trio they had a trio of full size for the holidays but it was out of stock and it's still out of stock so oh it is actually tinted let's see how tinted this is It smells, mm, it smells really good. So, it's lightly tinted. I mean, barely any. I'm gonna leave it on while I do my eyes, just so we can have those lips hydrated for the time that I actually end up doing my lipstick. And of course, I'm gonna be using my new lip liner. But let's focus on the eyeshadow palette which is the most exciting out of this at least for me and before we do anything else let's do the very exciting thing if i can even peel off the glass thing there we go okay that was pretty hard so let's go ahead and do it together how exciting and satisfying is that Beautiful mirror, it is very, very big. So it's perfect to basically do your, your entire face. Of course, I have already my face done. I went for my very basic makeup, you know, that I've been using almost every time that I do my makeup, including my hourglass, um, what is it? Uh, tinted, tinted, um, I don't know. I can't even talk. You know what I'm saying, the product that I always use. So now let's just dive in to this palette because I'm pretty excited to try it for the first time. And we're gonna be doing that together. So first, I think I'm gonna go for the lightest shade, which is going to be this one in the corner. And I've just grabbed a fluffy blending brush. I'm pretty sure this is also by Makeup by Mario with Sephora. Yeah, so this is by Makeup by Mario 2 in an old collaboration they did with he did with Sephora. So I'm just gonna blend this in. Maybe I'm gonna add it all over just to add a bit of a base to the shadow. This is almost like my skin uh, shade, so it is just serving as a base, even though I already had powder on. So now I think I'm gonna go for the second shade, the second matte brown, light, very light brown, because there's a pink right here, there's a more taupey shade, more cool tone, and then a darker, very pretty brown, but I think I'm gonna go for this one just all over my crease. This is blending really nicely, by the way. Very, very pretty. And apparently this palette is very good with the shimmers. Apparently the shimmers are the, the, the best thing. I have heard mixed reviews as people were, ex were expecting the shimmers to be the best thing ever, and they ended up really loving the mattes, which that matte that I, the two mattes that I used, blend it out really nicely and they're very very soft so no complaints there i was actually i'm actually also pretty surprised with this matte they're very very pretty and i love the shade it's perfect for what i like to use on my uh, on my crease so i'm going to go ahead and uh swatch a few of these shades in the back of my hand i think i mixed them and i'm not gonna know what which one is which okay Hmm. They seem very, very light and not as impressive as I was thinking. Um, you see? I mean, it almost looks like the same shade even though it's three different shades. It's very pretty. Now that I'm looking at it on the camera, it looks almost like wet. But I can't barely recognize the difference between them. So anyway, I think I'm going to go for the middle shade um, with my finger. I'm going to apply with my finger. Okay, actually, let's try with the brush and then see how this performs. So, wow, that's super soft. My goodness, that was almost like buttery soft. That's crazy. Oh my God, that is very, very pretty. I hope you can see how pretty this looks as much as it, it's beautiful on in real life. My gosh. And it is super soft. Like, I don't think I've ever experienced a shadow this buttery. It almost feels like not wet, but yeah, like literally I'm putting butter on my eyelids, which that sounds pretty gross, but you know what I'm trying to say. It's extremely, extremely, extremely soft. Very, very, as first impression, I'm extremely impressed. So now, oh, but, but, just like I thought, this is super, super, super soft. And look, a chunk, 
a chunk just got off from the shadow. You can see right there. So this is going to be an extremely soft shadow palette that you're going to have to be very careful, at least with the glitters or shimmering shades. So now to add a bit more depth, depth into my eyes, I think I'm going to go for this shade down here, which is a bit darker than the one I used up here for my crease. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add this on my outer V just to deepen the crease a little bit more at the eye. Also very soft. I'm really loving these eyeshadows. I know this is going to be, of course, this is a first impressions and it is just three shadows that I've used or I think four at this point, but I mean, how pretty is that? And how easy and soft. There is fallout in the palette. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a little bit of fallout from the shimmering shade. I didn't feel like I got much fallout on this side, but on this one, I do have some shimmers just hanging out of the eye. But this is very pretty. I'm going to probably change eyeshadow and I'm going to go to the bottom one here of the glittering and I'm just going to dab this in the center of my eye very, very lightly. Oh, that looks very golden. Actually, that looks very pretty. I didn't think this was going to be as different, but now that I have it on my eyes, I can definitely see the difference on shades. Very, very stunning. I am very surprised, pleasantly surprised. Okay, so now with this darker brown, there is a darker one down here, but I'm gonna go for this one. I'm going to very, very lightly line my eyes, nothing too much, and I'm not going to wing it. I'm just going to add this very close to my lash line to create a bit more of a fuller appearance of my lashes. As a first impression, I can say I am very, very impressed. This looks beautiful. There is some fallout. So if you are someone that does your face makeup before, like I do, watch out and be careful with the shadows because you will be getting some fallout. It's not too bad, but I do have now glitter, mostly on this side. I don't know why this one didn't drop as much, but um, yeah. But can you see how stunning that glitter is? It looks very pretty and it gives that almost wet look to the, sh to the lid that I absolutely love. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up on my eyes. Actually, before I do that, I am going to use probably the shade that I used for my lid. I'm gonna just dab it a little bit on my inner corner. Yeah, that is stunning. Oh my God, that shade is so pretty. This is going to be such a beautiful, perfect palette for the holidays. I'm gonna be using it more and creating more looks, but of course this is just the first impressions, but as a first impressions, very, very pleasantly surprised. I'm pretty impressed. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some mascara to finish up the eyes. I'm going to be using a combo of the Tartlet with the Tower 28 Make Waves. And then we'll be back to finish up the face with some lips. And of course, we're gonna be using my new lip liner. All done with the eyes. So now it's time to move on with the lips. But again, how beautiful is this eyeshadow? I know I only used four shadows, but I am very, very impressed. So now for the lips. I, of course, just applied the lip balm. I'm going to remove it because I want to see how the lip liner truly works. The lip balm is stunning. I really like it. I might be a convert. You know, I've seen all these people talking about this lip balms, but I thought, how different could it be? I mean, it's a lip balm, but very good very very good so i think i just removed it so now let's go on with my new lip liner from charlotte tilbury and again this is the shade iconic nude let's go ahead and try it i think that this shade is very very close to my actual lip like lip color so you can barely i feel like a red spot there i don't know what's going on so you can barely see it but i love that because it's going to be the perfect, just throw in this lip liner and then add whatever lipstick. And I'm gonna go for a more, not taupey, but a more nude lip, oh, a little bit of taupe shade in it. And this is Supermodel, also by Charlotte Tilbury. I thought it would go on brand with the same. So let's go ahead and try it. This is old, of course, but I really like it. 
Oh, this is perfect because it pairs just beautifully with the lip liner. This might be the most makeup-y that I've been in a very long time. So let me get a little bit closer so you can see the, the eyes a little bit better. And of course the lip combo is beautiful. It might be too soon to tell, but I feel like this palette is going to become one of my all-time favorites. It is stunning. Of course the color combination, it is one that I absolutely love. It is my kind of shadows all the time. I love that it, it although it's a neutral palette, it doesn't... It doesn't uh, pull too warm, it doesn't pull too cool. I think like it's a perfect in-between. So I love it. I feel like this is something, I know, I'm gonna sound kind of ridiculous, something that my, my collection did not have. Cause I feel like my palettes are either very warm or a few that are more on the cooler tone, but I don't have anything more in-between. And I think this palette definitely hit that little bit of missing on my collection. But anyway, I'll be doing more videos with this palette. I do have a few requests of um, creating more eyeshadow looks. So I will definitely be working on that. I do apologize that I've been a little absent, but uh, I'm back and I'm going to try to be filming as much as I can. But anyway, lip liner, absolutely love it. And I really like this combination. And this is probably something that I'm gonna be buying more shades of because it felt really nice on the lips. And even after I removed it, I could still feel the hydration lingering, so I really, really love that. But anyway, you guys, that's gonna be everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like always, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.